Like new cool things? Watch this craft hack selection to find fresh ideas for your DIY projects. Are you an avid moviegoer? In this tutorial, we'll make a funny, unusual phone docking station shaped like a popcorn box. Take A3 cardboard of a warm yellow tint. We've got a power bank to be placed inside the holder. Mark off the charger dimensions on the cardboard. We've defined the holder bottom size. Let's check if it holds the phone. Cover the back with the felt. Keep in mind the slot. Put the top in the box. It fits perfect. Now the most interesting step. We'll make cotton wool popcorn. Roll up a piece of cotton wool between your hands to get a soft ball-like shape. Add some color for a natural look. Add tiny pieces of yellow and brown felt to make the cotton imitation look like real popcorn. Sprinkle it with spices. Flick on the orange acrylic paint with water. Mmm, it looks delicious! Assemble the holder. Hot glue the popcorn to cover the entire top base. And the finishing touch, cut out the word popcorn to decorate the box. Attach the letters to the white base. Hot glue the word to the box. The top of the box can be moved, so you'll be able to take the power bank in and out when necessary. Put it in, take the USD adapter out, and place the top. Perfect! You can charge your favorite phone and watch the Troom Troom channel.
This awesome popcorn box phone docking station will be an eye-catching accessory on your desk. The amusing design will make you smile each time you use the holder, especially if you are a movie fan. In our tutorial, we'll show how to make stylish earphone holders. We'll need a piece of natural or imitation leather, a piece of denim, copper wire, white glue, scissors, a brush, pencil, cup for glue, ruler, plastic tray for glue work, and cardstock for patterns. Take a piece of cardboard. Draw two lines for the pattern centers. Sketch a willow leaf around the first line. Its long shape is ideal for a holder. You can trace a natural leaf picked up in the park. Make another holder arrow shaped. Mark 1 5th inches off the center to the left and right to make the shaft. Measure out half an inch from the center to draw the fletching. Outline the head. Draw a cross line and mark off an inch from both sides. Join the marks making the triangular head. Draw the shaft. And the fletching. Cut out both patterns. Take a small piece of copper wire to make the holder keep shape and be flexible. Take the leather. See which side has a more intricate look. We'll need two details as mirror images of each other. Trace the patterns. You can use a pencil marker, tailor's chalk, or an ink fabric marker. A plain ballpoint pen will do as well. Cut off the excess. Fold in half with the image on top. Cut out the leaf. Measure out a piece of the wire a bit shorter than the leaf. Cut it out. Add some glue to a cup to make the job easier. Cover the cutout leaf with the glue using a brush. Place the wire on another leather piece. Attach the leaf. Be careful to place the wire across the leaf center. Press down well. The wire sandwiched between the leather sides resembles a leaf stalk pattern. Continue pressing over for a better attachment. Cut off the excess wire to prevent it sticking out. Smooth the surface with a round brush handle end. Let it dry. Now make the arrow. Take the denim. The fabric has been waxed. That's why an intricate pattern can appear if you crumple it with your hands. Make the pattern using a pencil marker. Trace the stencil. Fold the fabric in half, leaving the arrow image on top. Crease the fold. Cut off the excess. Measure out the wire. Cut it out. Put the wire inside across the center of the shaft. Cover the wrong side of the fabric with the glue using a brush. When dry, the white glue neither leaves stains nor changes the cloth color. Sandwich the wire between the fabric layers. This way is quicker and more comfortable than using cutouts. Be careful to place the wire across the center of the arrow shaft. Press down with your fingers. Use a brush handle again. Smooth the surface. 
let it dry. Complete the leaf. The holder is dry. Cut it out. The willow leaf clip is ready. The details are well attached. The leaf is flexible. It bends well to shape the earphones. The arrow is dry. Cut it out. As the fabric is dense, it takes more time to attach the details. Add some glue again. Attach the arrow with the clothespins and let it glue well for an hour or so. Remove the pins. Decorate the arrow in an American Indian traditional art style. We'll need acrylic paints, a thin brush, cardboard for a palette, and water. Squeeze the paints onto the palette. Take the basic colors, red, yellow, blue, and white. Paint the fletching first. Make strips imitating feathers. Decorate the head. The vertical pattern will emphasize a forward direction. The bright arrow clip is ready. Organize your cables and wires with these cool handmade earphone holders. Let's make a simple phone holder in summer colors. Cut out a cardboard strip. It should be about three times as long as your phone. Measure out the thinner end. We've made it three inches wide. Mark it off in the middle of the opposite side. Cut out a slit a fourth inch wider. The side is easily bendable. We should fasten it. Make the same shaped cardboard detail. Trace it and cut it out. Hot glue. Tape the edges. Tape the bendy parts. Cover the cardboard with the color paper. You can use white glue. We've decorated each side with a different color. The sunny yellow and sky blue. Cut down the slit. Decorate it with the color tape to make it neat. Assemble the holder and place your phone on it. It won't take you much time to make the smartphone holder. Watch us with style. If you are still missing the functional accessory phone holder, it's the right time to get it. You just won't be able to stand the funny little crab we're going to show. Start with the template. Draw an amusing crab. You'll see it's easy. Or you can print out an image you can find on the internet. Trace the crab to make the middle part. Mark off your phone to make the cutout. We've traced the templates on corrugated cardboard. Cut them out with the craft knife. We've made eight details. Hot glue the same details. You can use multi-purpose glue instead. We've sandwiched four middle details with a phone pit between the four face details. We'll decorate the crab with a deep red velvet paper. You can also use a foam rubber sheet or thick fabric. Measure the holder. Cut out the paper strip of the appropriate size. Place the paper on the holder and press down all the indents with a pencil. Apply the hot glue to the notches. Press over. If one strip is not enough, attach another one. Cut out the phone pit. 
Make the missing details. Hot glue. Keep in mind the funny face. You can attach the eyes and smile with stationary glue. Define the details with a black marker to apply a cartoon effect. The comic little crab will hold your phone safe and secure. It's so cute that it may become your favorite accessory. The cardstock roll is a perfect base for various holders. Let's make a phone holder. Take a 5 inch cardstock roll. Draw a line across the length. Cut it down with the craft knife. Make another cut to form a slit. Decorate it with the scrapbook paper. Fold the edge. Repeat for the other side. Apply the white glue to both flaps. Attach it to the roll folding the flaps inside the slit. We'll need push pins to make the stands. Cut off the pin using the cutting part of pliers, leaving a small, sharp end. Attach the push pin on the holder. Attach four stands to make it stable. You can put in a picture or your phone. This little functional holder is light but stable. Place it on your desk to watch photos or video on the phone. Let's make a stylish and functional phone holder containing cheap DIY speakers. Trace a paper towel roll on the bottle. Cut it out. Make the same detail from another bottle. Cut off the top. Trace the outline of the bottom of your phone on the cardstock roll. Draw the slit to fit the phone. Cut it out. Wrap the scrapbook paper around the roll. Mark the slit. Cut it out. Apply the white glue to the roll. Join the details. Be careful to put the paper slit over the cardstock one. Press down. Decorate the plastic parts. Use the sponge and acrylic paints. We painted them partly to make them more intricate. Attach the decorative tape to the edge. Attach it part by part. First, one half, then the other. Assemble the holder. Put the cardstock detail into the plastic ones. It's time to put in the phone. Done! We've got a futuristic design article holding the phone at the right angle. In addition, the stand contains two speakers to amplify the sound of your phone. Do you want to keep your earphone cables from getting tangled into knots? Make a soft baby octopus holder to keep them organized. Start by drawing a template. Outline a head and four arms. Add another four in this style. Fold blue felt in half. Trace the template. Fasten the fabric with two binder clips to prevent its shifting. Cut it out. Sew down the details with yellow thread using a decorative stitch or just hot glue. Leave a gap unstitched. Stuff it with filler. Don't forget to finish the seam. We'll need another detail. Hot glue. Assemble the holder. Attach yellow Velcro. Hot glue the fastener. Add eyes. Wrap your earphones around it and fasten with Velcro. There's a smile missing. The cute little baby octopus will keep your earphone cables untangled and neat. Subscribe! Give your thumbs up if you liked the video. Click the bell and you will know at once when the new video comes out.